hein? Hi everyone, it's Jack here at Main Skill. So thanks for tuning in and watching the YouTube. So keep watching them. We're gonna see how many people we can get. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So what we are on with today, as you can see, it's sheep. But what we're doing is the shearers are coming today. So we're just down here now. So Carl and Matthew are over there. Me and Claire are over here. And we're just gonna get the race set up and we're gonna get the sheep in. So Carl beat us here, so he's just fetched them up with his dogs. So he's just fetched them up, we're going to get the sheep race set up, get them all in and then the shearers are coming at 8 o'clock so we're going to get all the lambs shedded out ready so they're out the way, put them through the foot back while we're getting moving them anyway and then they're done with and then we can crack on shearing So we'll get it set up now, good good <laughs> We've got them in, so they're all here So we've got a fair few of them done now so we've got a few left here in the pen behind now but we're fairly cracking on with them before we started the sheep, we shedded all the lambs out, so they've all been shedded out and out the way because they don't want going up the chute, so they'll just slow the job down. So as we come down the line, we've got Claire here with Rue. They're the first one. She says Rue's really helping her. Obviously, she's camera shy. She says, don't forget about Rue. Make sure you include her. She's doing a really good job. So we've got Claire first, pushing the sheep up into this race. Then Matthew's here after that. Matthew's pushing them up the race. Here like this. Here they go, he's pushing them up like this. We go up here, and this is where the action is. We've got Chris Dawson here cheering, and we've got Lewis here at this end as well. So some big girls in here. There we go, some big sheep about. So Lewis is on this one. So we're just on ticking all the fleeces off today. So Chris and Lewis come every year and do them. So we get them all done today. So there'll be about 400 to do. And once the wool's off, we've got these here, so the wool's off there, and then we've got Carl and Ashley here as well, and they're wrapping wool, and Carl's just sorting a few out, any that have a bad foot or anything when they come off, he's just doing them, we're checking the bags while we're on, see if they're going to be okay for breeding next year. There he is, coming down the long ones now. It doesn't take them long to do them, they soon get them done. That's that one done, that's Lewis's. And Chris is on with one here as well. So it's very hot today, they've got the canopy up, they've got the radio going. And then it goes here. You can see it's hot, they're sweating, so they'll be glad to have them off. There you go, they come up the shoot, pull them out. There you go, he's got a good one there, it's half done. So anyway, once the rag, the wools have been, the fleeces have been wrapped, they go into the bags, and we got Claire in here now, just keep swapping who's in here, jumping up and down, so you need to squeeze as much in here as you can, because when you get these, you get paid by the kilo for the wool, but you want shoving in there, and you want to fill them right up, because last thing you need, you can, not only for you, but so when the wool board gets it, they don't have as many bags to be shipping around the country as well. Good job, Claire, you have a sleep. <laughs> <laughs> well, there we go. They're getting through them, they're doing well. We'll go back to Chris now in a second when he's got another one. So they're cracking on with them. So we do this every year because the wool doesn't drop out of sheep. It's just you have to clip them. So we clip them out every year. 
So we clip them out every year to make sure that you get all that wool off because if you leave that wool on, not only will it grow and grow and get really uncomfortable for them, it's, uh, it can get muck. Once the muck gets in it and they get dirty, it can attract a lot of flies, which can then lead to maggots, which is an absolute nightmare. That's the last thing you want. So touch wood, so far we've been going through and we haven't found a single maggot, so that's good. But we'll keep going and we'll see how we do. And then once they're all clipped like this, we'll be able to go through them this next week and we'll do them with something called click, which you put down the back and that prevents any flies from landing on them. So we'll go over here now, we'll go back to Chris. Here we go, Chris is on shearing. Looks like he's got an all right one. We're away. It's a nice one, clean belly. Soon get some done, Chris. Flying up it now. Yeah, good one. This one. Good one. That's what we like. You are good ones, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nearly finished. Been a bit off with it last bit. go nice job nice and clean and she's away and there you go again the fleece gets wrapped into the bag and they'll be squished down again so that's good so plenty going on as you can see it looks good push your dog Oh yeah, there it is, daydreaming again. <laughs> so there we go. The job done. Thanks for watching. What do they do? So hit the, hit the button to subscribe. <laughs> One job. One job. <laughs> Good. Try again. Your place in your bed, showing no regret. Close your eyes to hide your lies, roll the dice. You got me tiptoeing around you like you made a glass. Got an invincible fence, letting everyone know not to trespass. But you're bound to break down, bound to lose, bound to get knocked right out of your boots when I use my witchcraft. loud and you're talking rude you're playing a game driving me insane your heart is back and it's a fact no turning back you got me tiptoeing around you like you made a glass you got an invincible fence letting everyone know not to trespass but you're bound to break down bound to lose to go bound to get knocked right out of you when I use my witchcraft When I use my witchcraft Come on! You got me tiptoeing around you like you made of glass Got an invincible fence letting everyone know not to Trespass, but you're bound to break down, bound to lose, bound to get knocked right out of your boots when I use my witchcraft. When I use my witchcraft, I got my moves, I got my song. When I turn my mojo on, I'm feeling fine, I'm feeling strong. It won't take long when I use.
and I use my witchcraft. 